When a plane wave pattern reflects off of a concave barrier, something unique happens to the reflected wave. Incident wave fronts are perpendicular to the wave direction, so the reflected wave fronts are perpendicular to the reflected wave directions. This not only creates a rounded reflected wave, but causes the wave directions to converge or come together. The point where all of these wave directions are focused is called the focal point. We've learned to harness reflection in order to communicate using radio waves. Personal satellite dishes receive radio waves and reflect them to a feed horn located at the dish's focal point. In 2016, China finished building the world's largest radio telescope, the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Telescope, or FAST. It examines radiation waves deep in space to help us understand the composition and structure of our universe. Since it works like a giant satellite dish, it can also be used to receive potential messages from intelligent life up to 13.7 billion light years away. We use satellites in space as well. Elon Musk's SpaceX recently released two practice satellites into orbit. His constellation of satellites, called Starlink, will use reflection of waves to bring broadband internet to the masses. Let's apply parabolic reflection to a smaller scale. For example, this solar lighter is a parabolic mirror that focuses sunlight on its focal point. If we place something flammable at its focal point, we can create fire. Look what I have created! I have made fire! Focusing all of this thermal energy in one spot creates a superheated point on the wood because if it's aimed correctly, the light will always hit the focal point. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. So as long as the light wave hits the concave parabola straight on, it will reflect back to the focal point. If the waves do not hit the parabolic mirror just right, they won't focus on the focal point. It either reflects at the wrong angle, or not enough of the wave hits the reflective mirror. During the Siege of Syracuse in 212 BC, enemy ships claimed that Archimedes created a death ray from parabolic mirrors. He used the mirrors to create a focal point on the boats, transforming focused radiant energy into focused thermal energy and sinking the ships as they got engulfed by flames. Now, although this was mostly rumor, in 2005, MIT successfully tested it out by using a series of plane mirrors to create a massive parabolic mirror that focused the light energy on a boat placed at its focal point. Although it may not be the most efficient weapon in the arsenal, Archimedes' death ray was able to set the boat on fire. Modern engineers are putting this focal point to good use. Skyfuel is a company that uses this focal point by harnessing solar energy. Their parabolic solar troughs harness the focused radiant energy to superheat a material in the tube at the focal point, which can reach up to about 3,000 degrees. The heat in their solar concentrators can then be used to generate electricity or store thermal energy for later use. Try building your own parabolic trough model. For a basic design, you'll need foil, a toilet paper roll, and a straw. You'll need to 3D print two legs and two structures. Your tools will be scissors, two pieces of tape, and a hot glue gun. Be careful, hot glue guns are hot. Step one, fold your toilet paper roll flat and cut along the two fold lines to cut the tube in half equally. Step two, put hot glue on the inside lip of one end of the roll. Carefully attach one structure to the glue with the raised end facing out. Repeat this for the structure on the other side. Cut or fold the aluminum foil to match the width between the two structures. Tape one end of the aluminum foil to the bottom of the roll, keeping the shiny side facing out. Fold the aluminum foil into the roll. Press the foil along the inside of the roll so it's smooth. Fold the aluminum foil over the other side of the roll, cut any extra, and tape it under the roll. 
Attach the legs to either side of the parabolic trough. They snap right in. And then finally, stick a straw through the opening on either side of the parabolic trough. This straw represents the tube where water or salt may flow as the parabolic troughs superheat them. The light waves reflect off of the parabolic trough, focusing energy on the pipe or straw. The energy started as radiant light energy, and we can see using the thermal camera that it transforms into thermal energy in the straw, which gets hotter and redder than the rest of the solar collector. If you were a solar engineer, how would you improve this design? What would your solar collector farm look like?